And the first card is ending. So it seems like you're ending an old situation in your, or you're going through an ending at the moment. And you're pretty heartbroken about it. Um, you know, you're crying quite a bit. It was something that you thought was really beautiful, but it seems to have all, you know, ended up in tears. And, you know, you're very, very upset about it. And right now, you're really trying to find yourself. You've got this confusion card. You really don't know what to do and where to go next. Uh, you know, it's a, it's like, you know, you're in this place where suddenly uh, the rug has been pulled out from under your feet and you're really, really confused about what to do. Now, in the past, uh, you've got the truth. So some kind of truth came to light. Uh, there might have been some, you know, you could have gone through a divorce or some kind of separation. There seems to have been some money that has come to you there with the wealth card. But there's also been a truth that has been revealed. And you... You know, this breakup may not have happened right now. It may not have been a completely recent breakup. But it's certainly, you know, you're certainly still healing from it. And you're still crying over it. And you still don't know what to do and how to go into the future. Now, you've got the scandal card over here. So there was some kind of news that came in for you or will be coming in. You're going to hear a little bit more about the situation that you've gone through. So maybe something coming to light about this person that you've broken up with or you've ended a relationship with. And it's not very, very good news. So whatever you're going to hear uh, might be very, very upsetting. So prepare yourself for that. Whatever this news is, it's not the best of news that you want to hear. Uh, and it could be through some gossip that you hear it or by chance that you get this. And it might be a bit upsetting for you to hear. So those are the energies for that week. Now at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Nine of Coins, the Five of Coins, the Two of Swords, the Hangman. So, you know, you can see with that Three of Cups over there, feeling very excluded. So, it looks like you were in some kind of situation that was very long-term. You were pretty much part of the group, and now it seems like you've been excluded from it. So, this could have been a breakup where you shared friends together or shared a life together, and now, you know, you've been let go of it. And, you know, during the, the period where the holidays come along, you suddenly realize, you've, you know, you feel lonely because you are not doing the same things you used to do. So, you're feeling a little bit excluded from, from everything right now. It's almost like you're watching into things but not being, not allowed to take part. You can see these painters uh, watching these women having fun there but not actually in the picture itself so you're feeling left out a little bit you also feel like you've made a lot of sacrifices for this relationship and everything's upside down at the moment and it doesn't seem like you you can even do anything it feels as though your hands and feet are tied right now um you know you've it feels as though um you know you've you've given up a lot but nothing was given back to you You've got the two of swords over here. So there's been, uh, you know, whoever you're dealing with, you're still having arguments and fights with this person. Um, you know, this you're still. Uh, this is the card of crossing swords. So this is about fighting, arguing, and not being able to reach some kind of uh, amicable, uh, you know, solution to the problem. You're trying to, um, you know, maybe you're trying to reconcile or you're trying to uh, reach, um, you know, some kind of peaceful solution. Maybe that's not coming in. But there's also something that's missing, something that you haven't seen, some kind of truth that has not been revealed to you yet. You are suddenly feeling very despondent, let down, insecure with that five of coins. Maybe having gone through this separation has led through a lot of financial loss as well. Uh, and you're having to take care of things by yourself. So working hard. Um, you know, sorting through financial problems, having to deal with all the issues that you're dealing with. You can see this man's got armor on. So you're having to deal with all the problems and financial issues and take on the responsibilities. Maybe before you shared responsibilities with this person and now you're having to take over that role uh, completely by yourself. And this is upsetting. Uh, and it's causing you to have to tighten your belt quite a bit. You're feeling... You may have lost your home in this whole situation. You've had to move home. Security is gone as well. Um, it feels as though, you know... You're in a place, place where there's no abundance. Uh, you know, it, it's it's almost like there's no joy wherever you are at, at the moment. And you're having to take on that responsibility of taking care of things at the moment without somebody helping you out. You got the Ten of Coins, so there was a breakup there. Uh, this could be a, um, you know, a divorce situation. There could have been some kind of financial payoff over there. People do admire you for having come through the situation, but, uh, you know, you're having to take things... Um, you know, one step at a time, and you're having to deal with things yourself. So, um, this is about, you know, there's been some kind of payoff that has come as far as that some kind of settlement has come. You're now focusing a lot more on your work. Uh, it seems like this is what you're using to distract yourself with. And this is where you are, you know, trying to earn the money, and um, you are pretty good at what you do as well. So, for 
uh, from a work point of view, a lot of people admire you, and you're somebody that somebody comes, people come to you for a lot of advice. You are in charge of a lot of things. You have a lot of responsibilities. You know, you're very, very well renowned in what you do, and you're building up again from scratch. Uh, it seems, or whatever you're working for, is progressing as far as your career goes. Uh, but you've had to end a very, very difficult relationship, and also now you're carrying all the financial burdens and responsibilities on your shoulders alone. So whatever it was that you were going through, it seems like it seems like you did try and reconcile with this particular person, but maybe that just didn't pan out because it seems like you know you've gone your own way with that nine of coins. So you did try to make up or you did try to reconcile, but maybe that didn't quite pan out the way you wanted to. You seem to have started something new as far as finances go. So you started a new job recently. Maybe with this nine of cups too, it could well be that you're getting your dream job. You know, the job that you've always wanted to has come into your hand, and you get you're going the way you need to go. Uh, it seems this is what you want to do. You're getting that independence, but you're also earning the money as well. You've got the knight of coins, so you might be deciding to further your career by doing some kind of further study, further training. Uh, this is how you can make your career move forward. Right now, it's a bit stuck. Uh, but you know you want to progress and you want to achieve your goals so it looks like you might be thinking about doing some further training further study some kind of bridging course as well you've got a, a choice to make as well you're at a crossroads uh, you know whether to take on a new job or new project it might be something overseas as well you've got the water over there or even doing some more travel uh, something that involves a lot more communication with people from abroad What's going on with you? So, uh, you know, you're very confused. You don't really know, don't know what to do. You want things to move, uh, but things, something is hidden from you. You can see them. Someone's hiding the moon from his hair. Uh, you know, maybe somebody's told you to leave or you told somebody to leave, but you're not sure if you want them to leave or to stay. There's a, a lot of confusion. This moon is really big. So, um, you know, it's about um, being negative, being confused, being afraid to make a move as well, wanting things to move, but not sure if you, you really want them to move. So, you know, there's that element of also feeling a bit miserable and feeling a bit depressed as well going on over there. You know, it's almost like being in, in a Alice in Wonderland book, almost like in the Twilight Zone. So things don't feel very real to you right now. Maybe you haven't really accepted uh, the separation or you're trying to deal with it right now. And that's making, putting this really weird kind of feeling um you know you're going through this phase where you're trying to settle down into this new way or this new lifestyle certainly the wheel of fortune coming in there for you so this has been a karmic ending and uh you know things will move on and you make going to have to make the first step the journey begins with the first step so you have to take that first step and move on and things will start looking up the wheel of fortune usually is the ending of difficulties and the beginning of a new uh, perspective it's a new pathway it's a new journey and a journey that now will um, you know you will stop being uh, somebody who focuses only on, on, on things that are going around you you'll become aware of the bigger picture so this is um, you know a transition for you uh, this is almost uh, you're reaching a state of maturity that wasn't there before and uh, you know growing up almost um, and also a very positive change as well because the wheel of fortune brings in expansion um, and brings in luck as well. Now, like I said, you might be thinking about doing some further study to further your career, uh, and you're certainly thinking very uh, long and hard about it. You're worried about it. You're hoping that if you do this new course or this new study, it's going to bring the coin in. So your focus is on money, and you are worried about it since you are carrying a lot of financial burdens and responsibilities. It seems like you may want to even change jobs. You've got the seven of coins over here, so putting out your application forms, so you're putting out your CV, trying to attract the right job. It seems like you're considering a whole bunch of other options, financial options, in order, order for you to progress and bring in more money. You've got the Knight King of Swords over here. There's something legal that needs to still be sorted out. Some decision needs to be made. Now, this could be a legal decision, but this could be also you coming to a decision yourself. Finally saying, well, this is what I'm going to do, and this is how I'm going to do it. Uh, with that Seven of Coins, there is also that element of confusion. I've got all these options available to me, and I really don't know which one to pick. But it looks like you're going to be picking one or making a decision. And with that, you get that sword in your hand so you can cut out the past. Uh, you know, you, this is the executionist block over here. So this is almost like uh, now that you made a decision, you um, physically cut this person or cut the situation out of your life and move on. If this is not the case, then this is a legal decision that will be made or you're waiting for this decision and, you uh, you know, it seems like it's going to come to light. And if this is a legal decision, there's victory on your part. So, you know, you might be waiting for, uh, you know, um, a conclusion to um, something financial. 
and whatever happens there will be a financial success uh, in it because he's riding the bull so it looks like you know whatever all these problems are that you've been facing the news comes in that you are the winner you are successful whatever you've been going after you will get so uh, if this is a legal decision it's going to go in your favor and there's definitely victory over there but it also seems like if this is not a legal decision you make a decision about what job you want you will get it so if you're going after something where there's a lot of people competing for it it looks like you're going to be the one that gets the job um, you know you blow away the competition so you've been putting out your CV over there. Even here, it's expecting money, a legal decision may be made, and money coming in. If it's not a legal decision that you're going through, then it's definitely whatever job you're applying for, for more money, you're definitely going to be the one that gets that job. So either way, you're going to be, uh, your financial status is definitely going to improve. This new job might involve, uh, you know, travel overseas as well, uh, or more freedom on your part. Make sure you're well planned up, though. It's always good to be well planned up. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Wolf Tarot. And um, you can see this outcome. Even though you are experiencing many obstacles, you will survive any and all conditions. Many lessons learned and the results of your experience are presenting rewards. So it looks like you're taking that leap. There's a new job coming up. It could be an overseas job because this wolf's jumping over water over there. But there's certainly a, re a relocation, something starting afresh for you up there, and it's a very positive outcome. You've got that, uh, you know, the Wheel of Fortune ruled by um, Jupiter, and Jupiter is the planet of expansion. So whatever you're doing, you're expanding your horizons. You can see this fox is going out into the world. Um, so you've got lessons over here. Many lessons will be forced upon you at this time. No, it's only a cycle that will end. So look at all legal papers, a time for growth, you might decide to further your education. So there's education that's coming in over here. If you're doing anything legal, make sure you're reading all the fine print as well. If you're signing new contacts, read all the fine print. So this could be, together with this outcome card and the lesson card, it looks like you're going to be starting something brand new and you're going to be starting a new cycle and you might be starting a new job and you might be signing new contracts as well. You've got the judgment card over here, finding yourself being judged by others. Uh, it could indicate courts, lawyers, lawsuits or um, illusions. So it shows here that, you know, with the King of Swords, um, you know, making waiting for some kind of legal decision that involves money and you being victorious. And with this uh, judgment card, it also looks like you're waiting for some kind of legal decision um, that you're going to be involved with. Now, the person that you're dealing with from a legal point of view, um, you know, where you're uh, trying to maybe possibly get money off them might be a bit upset about the whole thing, so it's not wise to approach them. But it looks like uh, a legal decision is going to be made and it is going to be in your favor. So if you're waiting for, for money to come out from this or waiting for some kind of payout, uh, it seems like it's going to go in your favor. So don't stress about it. Uh, and you're going to start something brand new. This new year is going to bring you a new uh, way of life. It's going to bring you uh, a lot more happiness and it seems like a lot more freedom as well. Now you've got the Ace of Summers, so a beginning of something new. Open your heart to love, a beginning of a new relationship. Um, and the awakening of psychic abilities. Now for me, I feel this is a new home, this is a new job, this could be even new study that comes in. It's something that gives you satisfaction uh, and it's taking off uh, you know, in a big way soon. So if you're planning on doing some study, it looks like you will do that. And if you're planning on buying a new home, it looks like you will do that too. Um, you've got the Princess of Spring over here, so it's time to go after your dreams, do something that expands your horizons. Now, this is a card about news coming in on the international front. You may be getting a job that involves a lot of travel or a lot of international communication. And it's got to do with work because it's followed by the Three of Autumn, which is the Three of Pentacles, which says follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best as what you can do and being compensated for your creative ideas. So this job that you're going to get is very, very well paid. There's learning that comes with it, but you're going to be very, very focused and you're going to be building a very very strong career and very very firm foundations and it is going to bring the money in so lots of money coming in um, you might be signing new contracts if it's a job that you're going after and you know you're facing competition you will be the one that wins in the end you are going to be the one you've got the three of coins appearing twice so the focus is going to be on money and you're an expert at what you do it's going to bring in a lot of uh, coin because even though the Three of Coins speaks about uh, you know, endings of situations, it also tells you that whatever this new job is, it's going to pay you very, very well. So a lot of money coming in that you're going to be able to save and afford the, the luxuries of life over there. So where you've been very, very stifled when it comes to money, it looks like that pathway is opening up and your career is opening up for you. And, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is bringing that change and it's all positive. So um, just hang in there. Uh, you know, the new year is going to bring in really good energies for you.